Yo, welcome to the video. So today I wanted to go through my Leatherman collection, something I gotten into into the gotten into in the last few years, EDC and just multi-tools in general. I kind of started off with um pocket knives and realized that, you know what, multi-tools have a lot more bang for your buck. They uh have a lot more tools. They actually become pretty useful um as you go about your day-to-day -day life. And so over the years, um I've collected about four of them and they each serve a different purpose they each weigh very differently they have different features and different pros and different cons so just want to go through them and um, show you why they're so useful and why I like them so much so I'm gonna start with the first one that I ever got which is the Leatherman wingman and this is something that my brother-in-law got for me and you know it's beautiful right it's uh, stainless steel I think and from the outside, you can access the scissors. These come in handy very often. You can also access the knife. So it's half straight knife, half serrated. Once you open it up, you have the quintessential pliers. And what's really nice about this particular one is that this is spring action, right? Um, you don't have to manipulate it open and close yourself. It opens on its own, which is very, very helpful and not many Leatherman um, multi-tools have that. On the inside, you can access the file, a box opener, you have a can opener, and then on this side, you have a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver, also very, very useful. So this was the one that I kind of EDC'd in the beginning almost every single day, and I would use it almost every single day for random you know, chores and random tasks that I had to do around the house or in the office or, you know, <laughs> being at ISNA or some convention and somebody needed to tighten a screw. So this came in handy very, very often. Um, after some time, though, you know, it felt a little heavy in the pocket. I did try to use it in a sheath, um, but, you know, I felt like it was just a little bit too much. And so eventually um, I started just leaving this in my backpack. And so I just leave it in my backpack with a flashlight, something a little bit heavier, a uh, little heavier duty, maybe, maybe not something that I would need every single day. But again, really compact, not terribly heavy, but again, you, you do feel it in your pocket. So that was the first one that I ever got. And that led me down the rabbit hole to the next Leatherman that I got, which was the Leatherman Signal. I mean, just looking at it, it is so cool. And the purpose of the Leatherman Signal is for your outdoors type, camping, that type of thing. Uh, from the outside, you have many, many tools. You have uh, kind of your regular knife. You have your saw, right? If you're going camping, cutting wood, making some, uh, cutting some twigs for a fire, that type of thing. And the back of this can actually be used with the fire starter uh, that comes part and parcel with this multi-tool. On the outside also you have a hammer. So if you're you know hitting some pegs for your tent, you got a carabiner, kind of a hex thing going on over here. This is a uh, sharpener, right? You can sharpen your tools with this or your knife with this. Comes up pretty easily. Okay. And then once you open it up, you again have your pliers. Um, this one is not spring. You have to kind of open and close it on your own. You have the wire cutters going on over there. And what's really cool is this feature, which I always have a problem opening it up. And anyways, this is a whistle, and this side is the fire starter. And on the inside, you have your awl, right? So you can uh, make holes in your wood. If you're doing kind of like the bushcraft thing, you have a screwdriver with a bit. You could take this bit in and out. You can replace it. Leatherman has their own bit kits that you can get. And that's really it. That's the signal. Again, looks really cool. Perfect for outdoors. I don't necessarily EDC this or carry it on me if I'm going camping or if we're going to be hanging out with the guys and we're going to be doing a fire pit or something like that. This might be something that I take with me. Um, but this is really what you know made me fall in love after getting the wingman and getting the signal that kind of went down the rabbit hole of getting more and more uh, for different types of occasions um, in terms of weight I mean I think that they're about the same maybe the wingman is a little bit heavier 
This one is a little bit taller. They both have the pocket clips. You can put them in a sheath as well, but both very nice um, for different purposes. The next Leatherman that I got was the Surge. And this is like heavy duty, right? Something that you keep at home. If you're a craftsman, you know, you're actually, you know, going out there and using it uh, on the daily perhaps or as a toolbox, right? At home toolbox. And so when you open it up, you have the pliers, you have the wire cutters, you have the ruler on this side. You have, um, you got your all, you have your screwdrivers here on this side. You have your can opener and again, another bit kit for this side. And you have your knife. I wonder if I can get this open. Let's see. Maybe you have to close it, but you have the scissors on this side. Let me close this up and open it. All right. Yep. You got your, this is actually a serrated knife. You have your regular knife on this side and you also have pretty big scissors. These are much bigger than the wingman scissors. Let me take a look and compare these. Right, so it's much bigger, um, much, and you can actually see that there's like a ridge in this pair of scissors, not necessarily in these. They're both spring loaded, which is also very helpful. Um, but like I said, this, this is something that I keep at home, something that I'm going to keep in the drawer downstairs, keeps it easily accessible. Hopefully I didn't ruin that. Yeah, something that I keep easily accessible. Um, if I have to replace a battery, if I have to fix something real quick, tighten some screws, knobs, um, cut boxes, that type of thing. Uh, so again, it's really, really heavy. Not something that I would put in my pocket. I have put in a sheath before and taken it to like my father-in-law's house or to my parents' house if you know I know there's a project that I have to do. And so again, um, really like this one. Heavy duty, you can tell. I mean, this thing is heavy and you know that this is going to serve you pretty well. And then last but not least, I have the Leatherman Skeletool. This is the one that I picked up most recently. And what I like about this is that it's just the tools that you need, all right? You have the carabiner uh, with a bottle opener. You have your knife, right? Half straight, half serrated. Um, and when you open it up, again, there's not much, not many additional tools. You know, you have your pliers, you have your water uh, wire cutters and then you have your screwdriver. And honestly, what I've seen and what I've experienced is that most of the time that's all you really need. So this is much lighter than the rest of the Leatherman uh, multi-tools that I have. And if you're going to, if you carry a pocket knife anyways, this is a easy upgrade. You'll get your screwdriver, you'll get your pliers, you'll get your um, knife. And it also over here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you have like a hidden, compartment for an extra bit kit that you can uh, take it in and out here. So this is what I've been actually carrying on the daily now. Um, it goes well with the flashlight and really that's all I need to carry along with me. And like I said, it's much, much lighter than the rest of the multi-tools that I have. And so there you have it. This is my current collection. Obviously I have a impulse problem if I see another wingman I'm probably gonna pick it up but I think these four really hit the different levels and the different spectrums right you got least amount of tools to the most amount of tools you know light duty to heavy duty you have the camping EDC keep it in a bag keep it at home so I think I've covered you know the four bases of why you would want a Leatherman let me know if you have any other recommendations uh, what you like about each one of these, which ones do you carry? You know, if there's another one that I should pick up, let me know. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and if let me know if you want to see some other EDC videos, because I have a bunch of flashlights, a bunch of pocket knives, and would love to get into this type of content. Until next time. Peace.